Welcome to Seafood 101. Hi, I'm Ken Saunderson with the Seattle Propeller Club. And today we're with Tim Fitzgerald, who is the Chief Sustainability Officer with Seattle-based American Seafoods. Thanks for joining us today, Tim. Hey, great to be here, Ken. Thanks for having me. Hey, Tim, why don't we start out with having you share a little bit about your role with American Seafoods. So for those who aren't familiar with American Seafoods, we're Seattle-based fishing company. We own and operate six catcher processors that fish for uh, Alaska Pollock up in the Bering Sea, Pacific Whiting off the west coast of the U.S., and also for uh, flatfish and cod in the Bering Sea also. My role as Chief Sustainability Officer is to not only ensure that we are uh, operating sustainably in all areas of our business today, including how we fish, but also looking ahead to the sustainability challenges of tomorrow uh, and, and trying to make sure that we're at the forefront uh, of our industry and responsible food production globally. And keeping the industry, uh, keeping the fishery sustainable is really important to American seafoods. That's one of your core values. Talk a little bit about that. We know as well as anyone without healthy fisheries, we don't have, we don't have businesses. And uh, what that means is really that it's in our best interest to keep these fisheries as healthy and sustainable as possible so that we can be doing this 30, 40, 50 years into the future. And American Seafoods has implemented a variety of sustainability initiatives over the years, and your results have been very impressive. Talk a little about some of the initiatives that you've been involved with. I may have mentioned before, I've only been in the role for a year, so a lot of the sustainability uh, work and progress and initiatives have been going on in American Seafoods long before I started. So uh, everything from being one of the first fisheries in the world to get, M to get MSC certified, to minimizing the amount of incidental catch that we have to fully utilizing all parts of the fish that come on board uh, and, and lots of other things. I think one of the most attractive things about this opportunity for me was that uh, the fishing was already so sustainable at the company and, and within the industry. And that really is allowing me to look at other areas of the business and the industry and fishing more broadly, where we can continue to push the envelope of sustainability, whether that's on the materials that we use, um, the carbon that we emit, the technology that we're looking at into the future. Uh, these are all really exciting areas and ones where I, I hope we can continue to push the envelope. And you just recently announced a very exciting program to recycle trawling nets. Talk a little bit about that program. This is a cool uh, evolution of, again, another project that we've been doing for a while. We've always been uh, striving to make sure that the nets that we use when they're no longer in service are, are sort of handled responsibly. Uh, and we've gone through a couple different iterations of how and where we recycle them. Uh, and this latest iteration, we, we decided to do a little experiment and, and try to figure out what that would look like if we did the whole process soup to nuts um, here in Seattle uh, by ourselves. And uh, actually, I shouldn't say by ourselves. We worked with a local company called Net Your Problem that we've been working with for some time now. And uh, we decided to, to really take a very quantitative look at what it would take to dismantle one of our retired midwater nets. And so how many person hours would it take at what cost? What is the yield at the end of the process? And so those are all things that we're figuring out right now. But we're really looking at that as sort of the next step in how we deal with all the materials that we buy and use and ultimately sunset at the end of their lives, whether it's the plastic that's in the nets or the material that we use for packaging or things that we use on the vessels or in the warehouse and trying to um, make as much of the things that we purchase and use as a company as circular as possible. That's so exciting. Talk a little bit about your passion. I mean, it, it comes through loud and clearer for the future of American seafoods and for our fishing industry. This, as I said before, this has been such a great opportunity for me, both professionally, but also just uh, to be on the inside of this industry and learn about all of its wonderful history, but also think about where it can continue to go in the future. I think the fishing industry often gets a bad rap for being sort of uh, behind the times and uh, traditional and set in its ways. And, and that may be true in some cases, but I think 
uh, some of the most impressive advances in sustainability and food production and uh, environmental responsibility have been led by the fishing industry. And I'm really excited to be a part of that and not only learn from my colleagues, but hopefully bring new ideas from my background. And yeah, I just, I, I can't wait to see where we are in five or 10 years, to be honest. Thank you.